crisp and clean with no caffeine, if you know what I mean, baby daddy, is fresh on the scene. And today we got the Jordan 1 Brotherhoods. Now I know what you're thinking. Baby daddy, these are too ugly. These are too loud. The colors are crazy. I can't match this with anything. I can't put a good outfit together. But I'm here to tell you that it is so much more than that. And you can do so much more with these sneakers than you think. I actually got these on the sneakers app for retail and they were just sitting there. They restocked and they had numerous sizes that were just sitting. A Jordan 1 OG High on the sneakers app sitting. You don't see that every day. So I jumped on them. And if you didn't get them and you want them, hey, resale prices are about 170, 180, 190, even up to 200 in some sizes, which to me is a bargain. It is a steal. If you want a really good Jordan 1 OG high and a, to me, a good colorway that pops, I think you should go after them. As far as materials and feel go, these are just fantastic. They are super, super soft. I mean, they are smooth. Like, this might be one of the smoothest Jordan ones that I have in my collection, which is about maybe 25 right now. Um, and the leather is just fantastic. It's not the thickest cut leather. It's also not the thinnest leather. It's about average for your normal Jordan 1 OG high right now but it is pretty smooth. My favorite part of this shoe is actually the inside of the collar. It's a slightly different material than what we're kind of used to on your normal Jordan ones nowadays. It's kind of like a an old faded micro cloth type of thing, like a sham wow, maybe like a golf towel if you play golf. Uh, it looks faded, which I really dig. It adds that nostalgia effect. And if you watch any of my videos, I know I'm pretty new here, but I love the the old vintage look, whether it's actually vintage or it's brand new, made to look old. I dig it either way, I love it. We all know quality control with Nike or Jordan is not the best. I know on camera they look pretty purple, all the videos I've seen on YouTube, they look really purple, more purple than they actually are in person. I actually have the court purples uh, just to, damn. I actually have the court purples to show you the difference between the purple and it's a pretty big difference, as you can see. Man, th these are so strong that they are like sour. It is so strong. Man, that hits you. It is hard. It is. It is super strong. It is so soft and it's comfortable as long as you put that insole in there. I preach every Jordan One video I do which like I said, I'm new here, but got to put you an insole in there. It don't matter if it's a Dr. Scholl's, Walmart, Target, whatever, put it in there and it feels so much better, I promise you. That's pretty much it for these. I really love these. If you want them, they're pretty cheap for Jordan 1 standards these days. You know, you don't have to have yellow pants uh, light Bordeaux color shirt, light Bordeaux color hat to match, anything like that. You could throw some red, some maroon on, maybe even some army green, 
and it'll still look good with this. I think they are fantastic, super soft, not expensive, so you shouldn't be afraid to wear them. I'm not afraid to wear them. I wear all of my shoes. I think they're worth the pickup. You should go grab them. Very underrated, and I think uh, several years from now, they may be worth more than a little $200, so get them while you can. <laughs>